What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here or you keep coming back to watch my videos, then please just go ahead and subscribe so that you get notified when I upload. My name is Amanda and today's video is going to be featuring a bunch of the new in items that I picked up from Zara in my last Zara haul or my most recent Zara hauls. The reason that I'm doing this is because I noticed from the link clicks that you guys picked up a lot of these items. So I figured it would be a good idea to give you guys a little bit more outfit inspo with those things that you probably picked up. Um, some of the items that I'm going to be showing you guys are things that I've had in my wardrobe for a year or two, but they should be easy to find. And a lot of the other items are also pretty common in most people's wardrobes. So it shouldn't really be hard to use this outfit inspo to put your outfits together. I will also be linking everything by outfit down below. So if the specific item is not available that I'm showing you, I will definitely link similar items by outfit. So without any more rambling, let's just get into it. All right, so the first outfit that I'm gonna start with, I feel like has something that a lot of you guys probably already have, and that is a shacket. Shackets are classic for winter outfits. And I have this one that I picked up from H&M last year. It's sort of a cool tone, bluish color. So the base of this outfit is a black seamless one-piece jumpsuit. Um, if you don't have a one-piece jumpsuit, you can definitely put together a black legging with a black tank top. Very easy to recreate without having to go out and buy a new item. And I put a zip-up hoodie in a gray color over that. And then I threw on my blue shacket over that as well with a black and white baseball cap and some boots. I love these outfits because I feel like they're very practical and they're so easy and you don't have to really put a lot of thought into it. It's layered so you get an interesting layered look and it's also warm. And of course there are things you can do to change this outfit from a daytime casual to something a little bit more formal. Maybe you're going to Christmas in the park or maybe an outdoor family holiday outing or something like that and you want to dress it up a little bit. You could just throw on some black knee-high boots and a little belt to cinch it in at the waist. A little bit more of a dressed up look. This outfit is one of my favorite creations, I have to say. It's featuring an aviator jacket. Aviator jackets, if you don't already have one, are very easy to find. My specific one is from Pretty Little Thing. I got it a couple years ago, but I know that they sell them every single year. So if you don't already have one, I will link one that you can find. I will be honest, I've struggled for so long to style my aviator jacket, but I feel like this outfit really came together nicely and it can be used in a workwear setting or a daytime setting. The base of the outfit is a pair of black leggings from Zara and they're not like an athletic legging, they're a thicker, more formal legging if that makes sense. Um, I paired that with some black knee-high boots and a classic white button-up shirt that I'm sure most of you guys probably have in your wardrobe. And I paired this wraparound cable knit sweater over the top of the white button-up shirt. If this is from Zara last year, it was a limited series collection item, so it's definitely not available, but I did do some searching to find some similar items, so you can get the look. But if you don't want a wraparound, you could easily recreate the look with a crew neck cable knit sweater, that would work too. And then I like the idea of just throwing the aviator jacket over your shoulders. It just gives a very chic, warm, bundled, kind of layered and very interesting look. And of course, if you wanted to dress it down, maybe you're running errands, for the day. You could just switch out the knee-high boots for some regular flat black boots. So you guys have seen this item styled a few times on my channel now because I love it that much and it is my puffer vest from Zara. I just want to get all of the wear that I possibly can out of this one so I put together another outfit for you guys with it and the base of it is some faux suede leggings from Zara which they actually are still selling this year as well. I don't know if the same exact color is available but I know they have it in like a darker brown kind of color and a few other colors but they're faux suede leggings and they zip up on the side minor size medium for reference and then i threw on my same white button-up shirt threw that puffer vest over it a little beige la hat and some black boots for a really comfortable but nice looking daytime outfit easy to run around in not fussy very comfortable and stylish. I really wanted to style this piece for you guys because I feel like a lot of you picked up that black hoodie in the last video, or at least the link click shows that a lot of people clicked on it. So I was like, okay, let me style this for the girls. Find a way that I would dress this hoodie up by pairing those black leggings from Zara, not an athletic material black legging, but more of a thicker, formal black legging, pairing that with my crossbody black bag, some really cool statement gold accent sunglasses, some 
pointed toe booties. And this is what I meant when I was telling you guys in that video that I would dress the hoodie up. This is what I was envisioning. It's definitely still a casual but dressed up uh, kind of a look. It gives city. I feel like a city goer in this kind of an outfit. Like I'm in San Francisco or I'm in New York and I'm just running around and I'm out and about kind of a thing. And of course, if you didn't want to wear those pointed toe booties, you could always just switch those out for a pair of flat black boots for a more comfortable daytime look. You still look stylish. I love an all black look. You can't really go wrong with it. Now, switching up the vibe with that same hoodie, we're gonna switch out the black leggings with some black full-length jeans that I showed you guys in my last Zara haul, so they should still be available. In fact, I think they were actually in the Zara sale, so hopefully they are still available. I put this outfit together with the silver heels, which were also in the Zara sale, so hopefully those are available, and my silver bag. Um, I threw on a black and white cap and some silver jewelry to bring out the silver a little bit more, and I, this is a really fun way to dress it up but still be kind of comfortable, if that makes sense. If you're the kind of girl that likes to go out to the mall or go out and run errands or do things in heels, you love your heels, then this is probably an outfit for you. We're giving very chic but casual over here. Now we're gonna swap out the hoodie for a white bodysuit and a black faux leather blazer. Keeping with the same full length Zara jeans, they give the perfect vibe to this outfit with the same silver heels. It's just giving a very chic, but dress down with the jeans, which makes it feel a little effortless, but then you have the trendy pop of silver going on in the outfit. I just love this outfit. Um, the, the blazer is from Zara last year, but I'm pretty sure they have a similar one selling on their website constantly, so I will try to find that also. Keeping with the same bodysuit and the same blazer, we're gonna switch up the bottoms and change into those black Zara leggings. To give it a little bit more of a comfy daytime run around kind of a feel um, and throw it on with some flat black boots and switching out the silver jewelry and silver accessories for gold. I throw on some black statement sunglasses with a gold accent to match the gold jewelry and I just feel like, again, it's another chic, comfortable, super stylish, but very effortless kind of an outfit. I could not leave out that green cardigan set that was in my Zara haul because I saw that you guys, a lot of you picked it up. My original vision for an outfit with that green cardigan set was number one, pair it with those faux leather mom pants, which you guys did see in that haul, but my vision was to switch out those flat shoes for the pointed booty heels and um, throw on my statement sunglasses with the gold accent, some gold jewelry, and I just felt like this is another, again, another grown, chic, just that woman kind of an outfit, you know what I mean? And then another really easy change up to that same outfit is to change out the faux leather mom pants for those black Zara leggings, throw on some black knee high boots, and then you have another chic, comfortable outfit. I feel like with these new Zara knee-high boots, I feel like I can take on the world and I wanna wear them with every single outfit. So whatever I can style them with, you're gonna see it. Sticking with the uniform of the black Zara leggings and the knee-high boots, you could also throw on a big knit sweater like the striped one that I've showed you guys in a couple videos and just kind of tuck it in in the side. I think it's so easy. This outfit is so comfortable. The boots, by the way, are so comfortable too. Um, I haven't showed them in a haul yet, but you guys are seeing it first here. If you're a real watcher of my channel, then you've gotten the tea on them first. I'm sure you guys can tell by now that these two things are a staple in my outfits. The knee-high boots with the black Zara leggings, I feel like you can do anything with those. and the knit sweater is no exception. It looks just as good with it as all the other outfits. This coat is something I decided to share with you guys because I found a very similar one to it on H&M, and I'm sure that people probably are looking at it on H&M thinking it's really cute, but how do I style it? Um, so I decided to pull it out. It is a houndstooth black and white, just sort of a really thin, lightweight coat that I got from Boohoo years ago. But I love this for my winter outfits because I don't have a lot of pattern in my outfits, so it's really easy when you have very solid colors as your base and your shoes to just throw on a cool pattern like this. So a couple ways to do this outfit would be with the black baseball cap, the houndstooth coat with a belt in the middle, brings it in, gives you an hourglass shape, and then throw on some 
faux leather leggings, black Zara leggings, anything like that, and some either flat boots or knee-high boots. I wore this in my Idaho vlog for winter last year, I think, and it was probably my favorite outfit that I wore there the whole time I was there. Um, I'll try to include a clip of that here if I can find it. But yeah, I think it's really nice to sometimes have, if even if you're a neutral girl or you're like me and you wear a lot of black and white and beige and things like that in the winter, it's really fun to switch it up a little bit with something that stands out like this, a little bit of pattern that just makes it a little bit more exciting. I, of course, have so many more winter outfit ideas in my little brain up here, but some of those are going to be coming in my Zara haul that will be coming up. I am also going to try to do a holiday outfits video. It really just depends on if the key items that I'm looking for are going to be in stock by then. But anyways, let me know what you guys thought of this video. I had a lot of fun putting these outfits together, so I really hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next Zara haul. Bye. Do change overnight.